Hi Aries and welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing great. So let's go ahead and see what's going to pop up in the cards. I'm using playing cards because it's the same thing. It's just different images. Okay, angel spirits and guides. Please show us the predictive messages here for Aries. First house of the zodiac. What do they need to see? Three of coin. Nine of coin. Independent. So diamonds are coins. It means you're standing on your own two feet. There's something where you're very, very independent. Um, three of coin is the challenge. Teamwork, working with others, investing in a group. Um, keeping a business going instead of just it's kind of like you want to retire but you need to keep the business going you need to keep things going what's the root of the issue here for aries there it is oh my goodness okay seven of swords um Either you're just wanting to sort of like go around people, um, ten of wands, too much pressure. There could be some lies or deception that you're dealing with. Three of swords on your mind, heartbreak, pain, distance, something that is heartbreaking. Or, or you, there's something about someone's dishonesty that is heartbreaking, so you're wanting to stand on your own two feet. Seven of Wands, standing up and fighting back. Standing your ground, standing up for yourself. Uh, okay, so your energy again is pentacle energy. You're keeping, the, you are keeping things going. You're learning about new ideas. You're learning, you're researching. Okay, so you're in like an energy of learning, studying, development. You could have a new idea that you don't want anyone to know. Um, but on your mind is three of swords. What's around? Two of swords. Okay, somebody is mentally conflicted, having to make a choice. They don't know what to do. Um, they're split down the middle about something. They could also be in denial. <clears throat> You're wanting eight of cups. You want to put space between yourself and a situation or a person. You're wanting to create some space, but also focus on your money, your job, your career, what's important to you. Maybe your school. Um, the five of wands is the outcome. So there's some competition, competition conflict. There's some energy of um, frustra frustration or turmoil. <clears throat> so there's something here where you may be aware of some dishonesty. And it's heartbreaking for you to deal with. So you're just focusing on what's important to you, such as your money, your career, Learning new things, developing new things. Okay, the person, I was going to say, what is the person around? Two of swords and two of wands. They're really stuck at a crossroads. They are wanting to take action, but they don't quite know what to do. They may not have the information they need. Why has this become a struggle, five of wands? <laughs> five of swords so there's someone here whose ego is in the way I mean obviously five of swords is it comes after the three which is heartbreak pain and sadness the five of swords is somebody who wants to win no matter what the cost no matter what they have to do um, they could be, want to be right no matter what is going on 
They want to be the one with the last word. They could be angry at people or blame people. Your energy is eight of coin. Um, you're focused on what's real, what's practical, um, what's tangible. What can I use right in front of me? Okay. What is Aries energy here with the eight of pentacles? Aries energy. You're in a Virgo energy. You're focusing on your service, your work. How can I establish a firm, found, firm foundation in my life? So very interesting. You got the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords. This is like, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to discuss something with you. I'm not going to involve myself over here in someone's drama. It's painful. Four of Swords. It's like the information was painful. Now I have to rest. I have to heal. I have to spend time uh, clearing my mind. You're healing from something by avoiding the conversation. Now, what's Three of Swords on your mind? Bottom of the deck, though, our root of the issue here is Seven of Swords. Somebody is not telling you the full truth. Like, you're not getting the whole story. It might not be an outright lie where someone is completely fabricating. I think they're telling you parts of the story. Okay. And then you sort of, or somebody becomes very defensive. So what is Three of Swords here? Okay, two knights. So we have the Knight of Water and the Knight of Pentacles. We have two people here coming in moving around busy energy water energy and earth energy taurus capricorn virgo pisces cancer and scorpio moving in and out though they're coming in they could be telling a lot of people news or information knight of coin is slow moving there's a very stagnant energy i think because the two of swords two of wands is i don't quite know what to do i know i need to do something but i'm at the crossroads should i go right should i go left what should i do you might be researching something for someone but not talking to them six of swords is like i'm just gonna not avoid conversations so what's the outcome here? Five of swords, five of wands. Wow, a four of pentacles. Somebody doesn't want to change. They're very resistant to change. Okay, what is Aries energy with the six of swords, eight of coin? What is Aries energy? Six of six of swords, eight. Of, you're in a ten of pentacles energy. So you're in an energy of money, <laughs> uh, wealth, prosperity, putting down a firm foundation, established. Um, so ten of pentacles. You're very grounded. You know what's real. You know what works. Somebody is trying to figure something out here. Why is this person at a crossroads? Two of swords, two of wands. Why is this here like this? Oh my goodness, you've got to be hitting. Two of pentacles. They're weighing their options. They've got choices. They could be trying to negotiate. Two of pentacles is like a negotiation or compromise even. So you've got someone around you who's two, two, two. The outcome is fives, resistant. There is cha change, but the change is challenging. Okay. <clears throat> what is the underlying energy of the seven of swords? What is the underlying energy of the seven of swords? Queen of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Could be a mother or mother figure. It's somebody with water in their chart, feminine. 
intuitive, um, quiet, sensitive. Somebody wants to avoid conversations. They don't want to talk. They could they could lie sometimes. King of Swords, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be cutting someone off. Show us the outcome here for Aries. This looks like struggle but no change. What is this? Seven of Pentacles. Looking at what you're what you have, or somebody is looking at what they have, wanting to grow. You're in a ten, so you're already in a firm foundation. You could be getting a lot of messaging, eight of wands, texts, emails, phone calls. Something moves forward fast. Somebody will make a decision. This is nice. Okay. Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. Somebody will make a decision. A very powerful, they have very powerful feelings connected to this. There may have been a lot of choices. Okay. So you're getting Knight energy coming in with a Three of Swords. Somebody has sort of like a broken heart energy delivering news that's not the best, but your energy is very grounded. You're very solid and stable. It looks like you avoid a conversation. The root of the issue is something is about um, a strategy where somebody may not tell you the full story. Successful completion. Okay, so I got here, uh, this is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. Okay. Well, your energy Aries is a ten of pentacles and a six of swords. You're staying out of drama. And you've established a firm foundation. Okay, we're getting here the challenge card again is the Three of Pentacles, working in a team, keeping something going. Um, your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. So this is the Three of Pentacles energy and it was in the crossing. Um, it, we did get here the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Abundance. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. So this is the energy that you're bringing. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Show us the outcome here for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge? What is the outcome here for Aries? messenger of abundance so the knight of pentacles wonderful news regarding your career that is what is on your mind clarifying a three of swords we have intuition and insight your intuition is very accurate accurate right now well and seven of wands energy you're being called upon to claim your personal power so that was the future energy here seven of wands three of swords is underlying there is some heartbreak pain sadness um, broken heart feelings or thoughts loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you um, the sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you'll be able to see how clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Okay. Underlying energy though. What's the underlying energy? Seven of Swords. Wow. Eight of Swords. Six of Cups. 
Somebody could be very worried about a situation that has to do with friends, family, children, neighbors. You may as feel as though you're restricted. Um, six of cups. Memories. Um, seven of swords, though, is like information you're not getting from because somebody else is hiding it or concealing it. Oh, wow. So we have here the six of wands. It's the energy of a victory, overcoming difficulties, the helper of abundance. I think that's the king of pentacles. What's going around uh, on around Aries right now with this energy with the twos? Twos are also perfect balance. There could be a person who doesn't want to rock the boat. They don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to make a wrong choice because they want balance. They want things to be in perfect balance. Six of Pentacles. Receiving a gift. Um, an expected gift is on the way. Accept it with gratitude. Ace of Wands and King of Swords. Okay, so there could be something here going on with an Air, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone could be giving you some information. They could be giving you some direct information. Making a final statement. Making a final ruling. Oh, wow, we do have here a Ten of Cups. Um, so this Ten of Cups came flying out. Happiness, wonderful and loving family, emotional satisfaction. Harmony with those you love is on the horizon. Wow. Okay. Nine of Pentacles was your main energy and you have it here. The Nine of Abundance. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with peace and contentment. And then we do have a Ten of Swords. The ending of a painful situation. Um, it will. The challenge is now over. Fully let go of the stress. Three of Coin was your challenge though. Keeping a situation going. Show us one or two more. It looks like here everything is coming into balance. What is out of balance is going to be coming into balance. So if there are messengers sending you messages that could be painful, hurtful, related to negative bad news, um, just remember that in time it will all balance out. The four... Of pentacles is the challenge to someone's fives and the fives is being is coming about because someone can't make a decision they can't progress two of swords two of wands two of coin now you're getting another messenger messenger of fire eight of fire something coming in quickly lots of messages coming in possibly all at once exciting movement something's happening right away all right i'm gonna leave this here for you aries thank you so much for watching your video and take care